All right, let's watch this. Let's watch this. 14 minutes. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Where's my camera? I'll move my I'll move myself up here for the time being. All right, here we go. Chat me. Let me know if the volume is good. Should be good. Well, well, well. Another Yu-Gi-Oh hater added again. <laughs> I got I can already tell from this guy's demeanor and the way he said that, this is going to be hilarious. A big ass 10 million sub account shitting on the game that I've irrevocably tied my finances to. Well, you all know how we do. Oh my god, as a YouTuber. Oh, Here. Great. Sleeve up your chaos, oh. Gustav, Sea Rider Dragons. It's time to act man again. <laughs> Honestly, the only part I really enjoyed was getting my blue eyes white dragon. Because at least he looks cool. Yeah, his hat's cool. Uh oh. So if you're watching this, you've probably already watched this video. I played Yu-Gi-Oh to prove it's ridiculous. And first off, look at that. Fun fact, I changed the title. So he made this video after I changed the title. Um. I'm a fucking amateur, man. Man's got similar subs to me. He's getting custom thumbs. I'm out here pulling thumbs out of my asshole. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> anyway, if you're unfamiliar with Roran, he's a Hearthstone guy. He has an which is what did he call me? Out of my asshole. Wait. Anyway, if you're unfamiliar with Roran, he's a heart. My man called me Roran. That's 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 a new one. Hearthstone guy which is frightening. See, this isn't some like general gaming YouTuber. This is a person who plays card games for a living. And like us, he plays a card game that peaked a long time ago. I'll True. Sort of fanning the embers on the game we play <laughs> until we can pay off our mortgage. Rarin recently played about five hours of Yu-Gi-Oh just to see what it was like. And it did not go well. After getting his ass kicked for about the length of one Barbieheimer, he called it, but not before calling out the game we all know and love. His arguments were basically this. Disclosure. I'm kind of distilling his arguments here for the purposes of pacing. I know they're nuanced. We're trying to get out of here tonight, all right? One, Yu-Gi-Oh's got the worst new player experience of all time. Two, Yu-Gi-Oh's insanely complicated in a way that turns off potential new players. Yep. And three, the core gameplay loop of Yu-Gi-Oh often isn't fun. And, uh... Yep. Yep, I said that too. <laughs> oh, this is a far cry from four kids censored too many boobays. All right, let's what? do our best to kind of go through them. All right, let's see what he's got to say. He's completely right. Through Ray Ren's example, let's look at what the new player exp <laughs> It got me Ray Ran? Oh, something in my eye. Oh experience for Yu-Gi-Oh actually looks like. The first thing you do is download Master Duel and jump right in. So far, so good. The second Amen. is you do the tutorials and immediately we have a problem. Old Rari is right on point when he explains Old the Rari. game he experiences as a result of the tutorial is not analogous to a Yu-Gi-Oh game that has been played this decade. Sure, True. at some point you have to be taught the basics, things like what a normal summon is, how you can set individual monster cards, how you go to the battle phase and individual monsters compare their attack stats with each other. That's all part of the core gameplay loop for sure. It but is. nothing in the tutorial imparts to you that you are going to be playing at ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3 speeds. That the true goal of Yu-Gi-Oh is to combo your opponent into the wall so hard that they do not get a chance to play the game yep. and in doing so you might take upwards of a 15 minute turn instead it sells you on this premise of like oh gemini elf has more attack points than lodge in yes so be careful exactly this was the problem like none of these attack and defense things matter well if you put lodge in in your deck at best that's going to lead to a lot of disappointed players who either feel they got their time stolen by a tutorial that ended up not really mattering or they're going to be disappointed because they wanted to play that style of game and it just doesn't exist anymore. Or alternatively, players are just going to thumb back in the tutorial like it's the Atla manuscript. Like, where's the rest of it? What's a Link Summon? You know? I, they know what a Link Summon is. What's a U Link? You know? <laughs> Frustrated at this, Mr. Ran jumps into casual mode. Casual mode. Mr. Ran. Where you'd Holy expect shit. the casuals are. Instead, he basically gets his ass beat the entire time. A bunch of individuals tell him that maybe he should consider playing the single player modes, which is like a decent idea, but it's also a bit of a mixed bag, right? Yes. There's like a 99% chance playing the single player mode means you're just learning the basic setup for a deck that. It's also boring as fuck. Like, no, like if I'm playing a PvP card game, 
I'm not going to want to play solo mode. What the fuck am I playing a card game for? I'll go play Slay the Spire. You're never going to see again. And ideally, you'd like to, you know, play the game against another human sometime in the first dozen hours of yes. opening a new product. Finally, the chatters throw in the towel and start recommending that he get another YouTuber to show him the ropes or maybe someone who's played the game before to walk him through what he needs to be doing. Ran Ranch describes this as coaching, which is... <laughs> It's an interesting way of looking at it. I always just assumed that having Holy a guide shit. on your Yu-Gi-Oh journey was the <laughs> only way you could get into the game. But from a layman's perspective, it really is coaching to a degree. Why should you have to contact a third party to play a video game online? Yeah, you need to pause Deltarune to figure out how to attack. Okay, so hold on. I'm not even gonna watch this video. Chat, I played Magic literally two days ago and I have played Yu-Gi-Oh before, before I played it. The, 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 I played Yu-Gi-Oh before, before I made this video and I played Magic before I made this video. I kind of forgot all of the basics for both the games. Magic Arena did such a great job of introducing how to play the game and slowly built upon that. Yu-Gi-Oh was like, here, dude, here's the basics of 15 years ago and go fuck yourself. Oh, you, sorry, do you not, how to, uh, no, no, do you not understand how to play the game? No, no, oh shit. Maybe you should go get someone outside uh, um, the game itself to actually learn how to play it. But in reality, right, I'm a streamer, right? I'm fortunate enough to have you guys to tell me what to do. Imagine you're somebody who has never played Yu-Gi-Oh in their life, who is not a streamer, who came back from their nine to five job. And next thing you know, they're like, oh, I'm gonna try Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time. And they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're not gonna go get a coach. They're just gonna leave the game. Thank you. That's my TED talk. Attack. They tell you in the game. So what does he end up doing? He plays Dragon Maid and functionally just clicks buttons for 20 or 30 minutes. Yes. Later, he graduates to Salamangrate by purchasing one of the pre-con decks. And later still, someone sends him a competitive Salamangrate list, which he crafts. Which brings us to... Two, Yu-Gi-Oh's insanely complicated in a way that turns off new players. Why are we lying about this? A significant <laughs> amount of the arguments in that Act Man video that I peed my pants about were functionally just that Yu-Gi-Oh is too hard. There are some things that I think are quite simple about Yu-Gi-Oh that for some reason old players can't get the grasp on. Xyz summoning and the like I feel is very intuitive. But importantly in that video I did agree with and continue to agree with the concept that Yu-Gi-Oh is a really really complicated game i think we can all be realistic about it i don't think we need to pretend that it's easy to learn I took it's not out of that video we watched on stream in which someone says it's no more difficult to learn Yu-Gi-Oh than it is to learn magic or pokemon and i think hidden valley ranch's video is a pretty good example of the fact that that is <laughs> Valley it's completely wrong. It's just super wrong. Magic the Gathering has a multitude of different mechanisms by which you can learn the game. Yes. Arena has a comprehensive tutorial. A significant amount of the formats are low investment and low power. Drafting gets you integrated into the game with literally no collection. Standard yes. is one of the most popular ways to play the game and is not complex by design. And that's to say nothing about the introductory track to a game like Hearthstone or Legends of Runeterra, which will just get you an understanding of the game in under two. Listen. Hearthstone, Runeterra, and Magic Arena have all done a very good job of introducing you to the game. I didn't need a coach to learn how to play any of those games, all right? They were great. They were did a good job. I was engaged with it, just for the record two hours. Now at the highest echelons of games like Magic the Gathering, there is a lot of complexity to be had. For instance, in modern, there's a quadrillion different keywords that you're not going to remember on first glance. But unlike Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh's complexity is functionally just the same thing over and over, and it's insanely long cards that you yes. have to intuit what they are going to do from a baseline knowledge of nothing. This yes. is part of the video that I think is pretty Amen. illustrative. Raw XD plays against a Rika deck and hasn't opened any hand traps i think he might not have been playing any hand traps he might not know what a hand trap is i don't know what that is he didn't tell me his opponent normal summons a rika pedal and he is frantically scrolling through the text on that card while trying to figure out what it means that they are about to add a rika card from their deck to their hand they get con con and imagine your first ranked experience being trying to navigate what it means to tribute an opponent's monster to pay the cost of an effect you are activating because he's open no interaction his opponent proceeds to combo off for no joke 
10 or 15 minutes, at which point functionally he just dies instantly. There's a difference between the complexity in something like assembling a doomsday pile in Legacy and the complexity that is you are now going to have to speed read 900 words and your comprehension yes. better be out of this fucking world. Even in games with a lot of hidden information like Magic the Gathering, they've built into the game a way you can intuit from a knowledge base of almost zero what your opponent might be up to. If they're on blue, you can expect there might be counter spells in the deck. Yes, so that's actually something that I, I want to talk about for Magic Arena real fast is Magic Arena, right, right when you're done with the tutorial, what it does is it shows you all of the main colors, right? It doesn't show you like uh, black and blue at the start. It shows you blue, white, green. Like it shows you and basically says to you, these are what these colors do, right? I don't need to know what the colors, all the individual color, um, all the individual cards in that color do. I don't need to do that, right? I just need a baseline. And that's what Hearthstone did, right? Hearthstone, in order for you to unlock the classes, you have to play against the classes. And by doing that, you learn, oh, Priest is a little bit more on the controlly side, right? Warrior has a little bit of aggressiveness, but maybe it's a little bit of control. Hunter is generally gonna be pretty aggressive, right? You get a basic idea of how the decks are played. So when you play against them, you're not just lost. If they're on black, eh, there's probably some spot removal. In Yu-Gi-Oh, encountering a card like Branded Fusion for the first time, it's going to take you about 90 seconds to read the card and then 15 yep. minutes to try and figure out what the hell your opponent is setting up. The end result if you're a new player playing by yourself on a ladder system is that you lose. You lose constantly. You lose to good yep. decks, you lose to bad decks, you lose to everything in between, and in the meantime, you read about as many words as Homestuck. Be real. There's a period where, after reading the ninth flower card and your opponent has activated that turn, you just stop. Something in your brain clicks and you say, all right, I have no further interaction. Do what you must. I will trust you are not cheating. No card game should have a moment where one of the players decides they are done playing before they've had a turn. And certainly that yes. moment should not happen every game. Which brings me to... So Rare and Ago doesn't actually ever say that Yu-Gi-Oh isn't fun. <laughs> but it's pretty clear that he thinks it. The entire time he's just checked all the way... To be fair, I think it's not fun out upset at how I'm gonna the game just clarify is that right now what he has to I do think, to even in game sorry let me clear let me clarify that even further i didn't get the chance to have fun all right i didn't get the chance age with it people in chat start saying absolutely insane shit maybe you're not the right type of person for Yu-Gi-Oh. maybe you don't have the attention span necessary for it the guy has been playing it for about five hours straight He's devoted a pretty significant amount of time to the game. Yes. He's frustrated that even at this position, he can't engage with it at all. But even in a best case scenario where the light of divination shines upon Raran, he might just not like the game. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! is incredibly zero sum. He starts to figure this out over the course of the video, saying things like, I need to be going first so I can prevent my opponent from playing. A significant <laughs> amount of playing this game is ensuring that one player at the table is having absolutely no fun whatsoever it's a skill-based game for sure but a significant amount of that skill is expressed in a way that prevents your opponent from ever accessing their reserves of understanding and that yes sucks, right thinking that this game uniquely has a learning cliff that other card games have already figured out a way to manage we refuse to do so and the end result is a game that frequently just straight up looks like solitaire. I think that the paper card game has done a uniquely good job of beating back this type of criticism in recent years. Stopping keep reacting, the design I'm reacting to you after you do it. If he does it, I'll do it. We'll keep part going. Of the COVID era. I think decks like Sprite and Tier Limit and Ikea Lab and we'll go individual deeper. cards like Fenrir and Triple Tack and Thrust have done an amazing job at giving players options going both first and second and the potential to be playing pretty much that entire time. But unless a new player is lucky enough to have picked one of those three decks out of a hat they're going to probably be playing a deck that's main game plan is to prevent your opponent from ever drawing a card that could conceivably threaten them and that sucks this type of video does worry me and as master duel has become more and more popular these videos have become more and more frequent big name streamers are trying out Yu-Gi-Oh, excited to play the game that they remember from is this actually a common summoning the blue eyes white dragon and the dark magician only to be told that that kind of Yu-Gi-Oh never really existed outside of the playground. That would be a compelling True. pitch if we could follow it up with, but there is a super cool balls to the wall combo battle cruiser magic style gameplay that's replaced it that's infinitely more fun. Instead, we frequently get to respond with, 
Uh, now there's this card in the game called Maxi that if you activate, you win immediately. Where does it come from? Oh, the hand. Ludwig played one hour and left? And you can't interact with it. Shit. In short, we've got a problem. It's the same problem that they're identifying in Konami board meetings now. New players are just not coming in Damn. as much as we'd like. We've got far and away the sleekest client to play our game and a really generous monetization model, and people just aren't willing to hammer it out. As a community... Yes. We have to stop lying to ourselves about issues of complexity. The difficulty in parsing this game as a new player is something that people are increasingly unwilling to rankle with. There's a comment on Farfa's response to this video where someone says something along the lines of, Oh, well, yes, Yu-Gi-Oh is difficult, but it sucks that he started with Dragon Maid and Salaman Great. Those are two of the most complicated decks in the game, which is just not remotely true i wouldn't put either of them in the top 100 but if those oh decks our baseline decks are considered too complex maybe something went wrong so long ago we don't have a chance what? to change it anymore finally i think this year has really just been our come to hortaki moment right master duel was a blessing and then it exposed the game to more people than ever before uh, but it also shone a light directly on the fact that the player base is increasingly a group of people who play because they got in on the ground floor in 2000. Yes. And that's why I came away from this video just a little bit disappointed. It sucks to see someone who loves card games as much as Rastafarian turned off from what is, in my opinion, the best one because the new player experience is dismal and the cards are way too complex for any oh, mortal person to comprehend at first glance. These types of people should be our bread and butter. Individuals who are really integrated into thinking about card games, using their systems, and excited to try new ones. But instead, we're caught between a rock and a hard place. We can't seem to grab the Yugi Boomers because their <laughs> concerns so range from it's incomprehensible so to why the Blue He's Eyes Dragon no we can win. Make and this, we can't grab potential new competitive players to. because the game sucks for about a year. Man, feels weird to just come out swinging against Act Man and then functionally agree with this YouTuber for 20 minutes. Uh, let me see if I can find one of his opinions that I can disagree with. Uh, about three quarters of the way through the video, he says something while his opponent is in minute nine of comboing off to the degree of, uh, this is why every other card game has a resource system. I can work with that. Okay, first, what he means here is exactly <laughs> mana. There are resources in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, they're just not mana. They're things like cards in hand. They're hard ones per turn. They're zones sometimes. Uh, but I think the assumption that all card games need effectively a mana system comes from the fact that all card games have a common ancestor in Magic the Gathering. I think there's very much a way that a game without mana could be very cool. The other one of the big three, Pokemon, lets you take a billion actions per turn. There's like energy, but there's a million cards that let you cheat the energy limit. So y y yeah, take that. <laughs> Be more imaginative. We must envision a world in which there doesn't need to be a, a land. All right, that's True. all I got. I know a lot of people in the comments are going to be like, oh, you should team up with Rat Race and show them how to play the card game. But like, <laughs> doesn't that prove his point? Yes! The only way you can get into the game is if someone who's played it for 21 years teaches you how to link summon a Salaman great. Ideally, we shouldn't have to fly Simo out every time someone wants to learn how to play the card game. Yes, okay. So let me break this down real fast. I actually thought his video was really good. I'm glad he agreed with a lot of things I said. Um, one of the things I do want to mention, chat, is when people tell me, oh, there is a resource system in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's cards. Guys, I don't know if you guys realize this real fast. I'm, I'm going to break. I'm, gonna, I'm about to blow your fucking mind here. Just take him over here. Every card game has a resource called a card. You can't play the game unless you have cards. Thank you. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, like, I, when people say that to me, I'm like, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah, I have mana in Hearthstone, but I can't play Hearthstone if I don't have cards. Like, what? I, that, that argument is so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I like this video. I thought he did a good job. I like it. <laughs> the last point bothered me. <laughs> Smiley face. Okay, uh, anyways, so I, I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh is necessarily a bad game, but again, like he said, I'm someone who plays card games for a living, so I can't imagine someone who is like a casual card game player to try to get into it, right? Yeah, yeah I should 100% that. Chat, go check him out. If you want to watch his content, he is he's very funny. Go 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 watch his videos. Um, Very, very good video. I like that. He, he's very funny. If you're into Yu-Gi-Oh, watch his content. He's he's hilarious. Um. Uh, I'm sorry to play Hearthstone. Now, for some reason, 
people tell me like Hearthstone is a baby card game, which is fine if you think so. It is not the most intricate. It's not the most nuanced game ever, right? But Hearthstone does teach you a lot of the fundamentals that translate over to other card games, right? So by someone who is, and again, you could, you could tell me chat, you could tell me that I'm, I'm garbage at this game or garbage at Hearthstone, but like, I'm not bad at the game. Like I understand the fundamentals, right? So, and it seems like being good at Hearthstone has translated over to being good at Runeterra. It also has translated over to being good, or I'm gonna say good at magic, right? I just didn't get the vibe from Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Like it, it's just because I play a simpler card game does not mean that it's not gonna help me translate over to different card games. Yu-Gi-Oh just did not help with me whatsoever. Like people, so many people are like, oh, it's so fun because the game is so complex, but dude, complexity doesn't mean enjoyable, right? Complexity also doesn't mean depth. Complexity also doesn't mean that the game is just inherently better. Right, there are so many nuanced takes to take off complexity, and Hearthstone, in my opinion, does a really good job with it. Right, Hearthstone is at face value really easy to understand, but the game can get pretty complex. There's a lot of decks in Hearthstone's entire history that were harder to play, but it didn't make the game not fun. All right, anyways, let's watch Farfa's video now. I feel like Farfa's video is going to be a little bit more <laughs> aggressive, so. Let's watch Ra -ra now. Addressing the dude, this is 40 minutes. Oh my god. Is this worth watching, chat? 40 40 minutes? What is he saying for 40 minutes, man? Oh god. I did I did addressing the attack. Holy shit. Here posting, I played the most ridiculous card game. First turn, kill, god cards, no mana, 20,000 cards. It's always interesting to get non Yu Gi Oh players' perspective on the game. So let's see uh, if the. Oh, hold on. I gotta move my camera. I'll move myself up here. Is he gonna watch the video? Is that what he's gonna do? Oh, he actually goes through and watches it. Can I watch the end? Like, do I have to watch all of this? This is so long, man. And I don't want to watch myself reacting to this. Like, this is, this is so deep. Criticism here is valid. And what the experiences of a new player playing are divinely bestowed upon us card game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Surely it's going to be a fun and enjoyable experience for a new player. I'm going to play this game for 10 hours. And I'm going to do this to showcase to all of you how ridiculous this game ends up being. I have played this is game this how, Is this how fast I talk? Or is he watching this at like a faster speed? End of the day, if you didn't like it, that's okay. Apparently not. Apparently that's not okay. Three hours, and I went back to look at the footage. And I should, I, should I speed it up too? What if I what if I speed up his speed up? <laughs> I couldn't tell you what the hell was happening. As someone who has barely played Yu-Gi-Oh, the game oh, I don't like this man. Me. Hey chat, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm gonna cringe this entire video listening to my voice this fast, man. It's not your typical card game. In fact, it's the most different out of all of them that I have played. The biggest difference being there's not really. A Some people still argue that magic is harder than Yu-Gi-Oh. Unbelievable. A man. That's not a good thing, Farfa. I don't know if you realize that, buddy. Resource system. You can that's, that's not good. Cards, if your cards allow you to. And not to mention how long some of the card text actually is. From an outsider's perspective, Yu-Gi-Oh seems like the most. Wait, 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 how many words? Card text five, actually is. Five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty, one, two, three, four. Five, Five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, you get the point. From an outsider's perspective, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh seems like the you most the ridiculous card game that exists. And I want to see how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh is. So I decided to play Yu-Gi-Oh for 10 hours. And here is what <laughs> I found. blinked here. Uh, is there a video you guys would recommend on how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I have played Yu-Gi-Oh before, the first couple hours were basically me relearning the game. And I thought I would remember a lot of it, but honesly, I didn't remember really Play Yu-Gi-Oh is like a Vicky thesis? Attack, no yeah, I'm fine, still a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Did you, you do your thesis yet? Your deck, you can add activated skull. Okay. Listen, buddy, you... Well, hold on. Before far fighting attacks, I want to make something very clear here. Do you know the amount of comments that I got that told me, Rare, you should read your cards? I didn't put all the times I read cards from the actual live streams because I don't know if you guys knew this, but I'm trying to make an entertaining video for people who don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you think people who don't play Yu-Gi-Oh want me to read the card every single time to show them in this video that I was reading the card? No. Of course I wouldn't show that. Imagine going to see a fucking movie and all they're doing is reading the cards. If you can't remember normal summon, main phase, battle phase, that's on you. Okay? There. 
also, I mean, I don't know what Exodate means. What is happening? In the hopes you won't be as lost <laughs> as I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Here are All right, that guy duality for big insect and he he's screaming what's happening. That's so funny. There are a couple important things to know. Yu-Gi-Oh uses different card types like monsters, spells, and traps, and they all go in a specific zone on the board. You can normal summon a monster if its level is four or lower, but for higher level monsters, you can tribute summon by sending other monsters to the graveyard. Oh, there's no shot you're tribute summoning Fenrir. Hold and on top, by the way, boys, by the way, I put this in the video because this is what the tutorial tells you if you did not play the tutorial. H ask yourself right now, chat. Ask yourself. I, you don't even have to ask yourself. Just take a fucking guess. How many times did I do this in the entire five hours, chat? How many times did I tribute into a monster? How many times did I literally tribute into a monster? Uh, let me, I'll, I'll give you the fucking, I'll give you the answer. I'll give you the answer. Fucking zero. Hold on, hold on, Raron, buddy, we need to have a talk here. There ain't no way we're tribute summoning Fenrir, come on. I don't know, I picked you special for the, for the record there, I, I just Google searched large Yu-Gi-Oh! Minion. ...that we'll see later in this video. The objective of the game is to reduce your opponent's life points to zero and send them to the Shadow Realm. But I can't emphasize this enough. This game is extremely complicated, and there's a ton more stuff that I didn't mention. Am I dumb because I play Hearthstone, or is this game too complicated? I am still hella confused. This game is complicated, don't worry about it. For the majority of the... Yu-Gi-Oh! players will <laughs> cope so hard and pretend that Yu-Gi-Oh is not complicated. Yu-Gi-Oh is the most complicated card game and it might be one of the most complicated like video games that isn't an RPG or something in general. It is genuinely so difficult and hard to grasp everything in Yu-Gi-Oh. That like from every mechanic to every phase to every step to every micro step to the damage step, the damage calculation, the summoning methods, the conditions, the activation requirements, the uh, lingering effects, etc. Like, th there is a billion different things in Yugi that is way too hard to grasp in such a short span of time. The only way you can even possibly comprehend Yugi in its totality is to legitimately just play for multiple months, months, and even then you have to play like semi regularly because like if you just don't play, you're going to forget a lot of things. I've done really True. well on judge exams, for example. I got, uh, I think, uh, 86% on a certain website. Um, and it, it's like top tier of judge exams. Exam. If what I was to that? take the test today, I'd maybe get 30%. Because if you don't actively refresh your memory on a lot of the things of the mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh, you can just like forget it. And, and it, it, it just you just lose it because it is such a in-depth, complicated game. And okay. I will stand by that. So... I'm going to talk about that real fast. I don't think necessarily, I said it before we even started this video, complexity doesn't equal depth. Complexity means confusion, right? Complexity is is uh, what I would describe as you guys. I wouldn't call it like insanely like nuanced or anything based on what I saw, by the way, based on what I saw. Judge exams, test your knowledge of a card game to become an official judge for sanction events. I see, okay? So in my opinion, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a very complex game because there is so much information given to you right at the start that you have to try to comprehend and try to figure out what exactly is going on. But it seems like, and I could be wrong, chat, you could disagree with me or not. Once you get past that insane learning curve of just jumping off a cliff and just diving into all this knowledge, the game isn't insanely complex or insanely, uh, insanely confusing afterwards, right? There's just an insane amount of right at the beginning that basically says like, no, like you're not, you can't play the game. Like you can't play it. And it, that is, yeah, it is. That's, it's more complex afterwards. Dude, what? How? You're telling, hold on. In the, hold on, hold on. You'll see it in the video. You'll see it in the video, but hold on. You're telling me, okay, let me just get the graph right here. Hold on. You're telling me, I in the video, in the video, I, t I said Hearthstone's like this, right? Hearthstone starts off like this, pretty low. It increases the difficulty as you go, but then it kind of just tapers off, right? It, it, at, at, maybe not even that high, right? At some point, it just it just kind of tapers off because you understand the game. And then when they introduce new cards, you're like, okay, that's how it works. Sometimes there are cards that you read at face value and it doesn't actually equal to what the card does, right? Um, in Yu-Gi-Oh, the, the way I did it was this, right? And then it probably tapers off a little bit more near the end because I figured at some point, it's no longer as complex as you first had it because you don't you understand the core fundamentals of the game, right? It's like a you. So you're telling me it's not like this. It's like, how do I even do this? You're, no, it, it can't be a you. It's not a. It's not a you because the game for me was like this. It doesn't taper off. It just stays. You go starts off crazy. Then you think you understand, but you don't. Oh my god! What? <laughs> I'm like what? What are you guys? The game is in microsteps like if someone tried to explain the damage step to ran he'd explode i understood the damage step like it's not the phases that i had problem with 
Okay, uh, whatever. All right, ignore what I said then. I don't know. First hour, I spent a lot of my time in the solo mode because- For the record, by the way, for the record, and this is something I'm gonna stand by and Yu-Gi-Oh players can disagree. A good game, no matter what kind of game it is, no matter how complex it wants to be, a good game should start probably around here, all right? You don't want your game to start up here. You want a game around here because this is how you introduce a new player to your game, right? You don't introduce a new player to your game right here. Good game design in a good video game, as much as you, some people will say Hearthstone's a bad game and it's for children, this is good game design right here. And this is why Hearthstone is so successful because they realize this very quickly that it, to get people into your game, it has to be not complex at the start. You have to introduce people at a good pace. Thank you. Did you lose to the dual training? I might have. I don't know. Don't Hold on. For the majority of the first Did hour, you? I spent a lot of my time. Oh, no, you skill. Oh, you damaged that. What's it called? I thought he lost. No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Solo mode because I wanted to learn the game at a good enough level where I felt comfortable going against real players. And the solo mode seemed easy enough. I was winning basically everything that I did. So I felt Oh, fuck. He moved his camera. My first <laughs> 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 Wait, what'd I say? Oh, no, you skill. Oh, you damaged where I felt comfortable going against real players. And the solo mode seemed easy enough. I was winning basically everything that I did. So I felt very confident going into my first casual match. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so unaware. I was winning in solo mode. So Bro, he's fucking like, imagine, dude, imagine. Dude, imagine any other game telling you, haha, he's going to casual. What a fucking idiot. Imagine any other game saying that out loud. Imagine. Surely I'm going to win in bronze, right, guys? Uh, Legit copers. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh players, based on how he just reacted to that, straight coping. Get queues up into one tier limit player, uninstalls the game immediately. All right, let's find a casual match. Let's see how this goes. He's got, what the hell is that thing? Chad, do I want to go first? Kurita, uh, what do you mean, what the hell is that thing? Second. I'm going first. First, oh, wait. <laughs> so second. Foolish amphibian. Okay, all right, this is my... Dude, like, dude, like, I can't. Oh no, I went second. I guess I lose. <laughs> like literally before you even start a turn in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you're not super familiar with a deck, it's like, hang on. <laughs> and you're just like skimming and reading your entire deck and every card in your hand because every card has like 30, that's a minimum, 50 plus words, two plus effects that all synergize together in different ways and a 19 step combo that involves special summoning like uh, eight or nine times, it, it is it is genuinely complicated. I will say as a valid form of criticism, 100% Konami need to redesign the card text on Yu-Gi-Oh, full stop. Yes. Either with keywords, if you don't like keywords, uh, I still believe keywords are the best way to do it. I agree. I stand by that, but we can compromise on that and suggest at least using the OCG way of formatting card text, which is bullet points. And that by itself would do enough to help the game. Okay, can, can someone explain to me before we continue, right? Well, he's not in solitary. He, Farfa, Farfa is a straight memer, bro, from what I understand. Can someone explain to me before we continue watching this video, why doesn't Yu-Gi-Oh have, like, keywords? Like, is it impossible to implement keywords into the game? I seriously doubt it. You know what? In fact, Yu-Gi-Oh keywords. Keywords in Yu-Gi-Oh. This is from 2016. Let's see this shit. I'm just very curious here. Do you get a player who moved to MTG? There's too many unique effects because they have us. What does that mean? It's hard to retroactively apply. I mean, okay, but like, I, I, I'm not gonna read this thread, but the thing, if Yu-Gi-Oh's biggest problem, it almost sounds like they're lazy, if I'm gonna be honest. If Yu-Gi-Oh's biggest problem is, oh my God, how do we get new players into the game, right? And someone's like, Oh, what if you add keywords to help people not have to read as much? And there's not that much, uh, it's not as much comprehension to get into the game. And people are not just going to be over fixated on making sure they understand four paragraphs per card. And then the guy, the, the CEO of Konami's like, no, fuck that. Like no fucking shit. You're having a hard time. Legibility. I think that was a good play. Nice. Okay. Chat, he yeah. is going to explode by turn four. Yep. For him. Yep. Yep. That's your. That's the boy. That's why that's we have duels game. rush. All right. Then we. I gotta see this fucking duels rush game. Hold on. What? Like, what does this game look like? <sighs> give me a second. Co money doesn't care about that. Oh. Give me a second. What does this game look like? 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Is that the game? Oh, it looks it looks just as fucking insane as the regular Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duel. What the hell's Rush Dueling? What is Rush Dueling? Anyone play Blasphemous? <laughs> it's a mobile game. It's a Rush Duel? What is that? Rush Duel is a Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Is the Japanese exclusive? Oh, so they just don't care about North American. Okay, cool, 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 okay. And then we do that. For the record, I have no idea what I am doing. Okay, if he doesn't at least end on seals, I'm gonna be really sad. You're gonna that be sad. Really good. Uh, sure. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then we're gonna go to the end phase. Whoa! What did you mean? For seals? What happens now? What is that? Both players can. Oh my God! Ancient. For one less. Huh? But the game's over. Now, some of you might be. A Where's the bit ancient gear pounding? Just happened, and don't worry. It don't Dude, I do know what that is. Like, I, he's acting like I know what that is. It doesn't tell you. Okay, whatever. Sorry, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get triggered this whole video, man. I can't watch this. Playing it. It worked out, so we'll do it again. Okay. Oh god, he's got an anime girl. Oh my god, look at the board. <laughs> yes. Is there any anime girls in Hearthstone? Yes. What are you doing? Why are you Not chaining kind of. Ernest? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah. Okay. What are you doing, little bro? Bro, I lost. Like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fucking lost. <laughs> There's no way this is 45 minutes of uh, Dragon made uh, gameplay, right? Problem. Ain't no way. Oh, he doesn't. Do he doesn't know, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> did I do anything good? No, bro. You did nothing good. You went minus three for two kitchens. I think I'm about to get cooked. He passed! I don't even know what that means, and I played this game. <laughs> it makes seals! Oh, oh, shit. He's losing to a cyber structure deck. <laughs> this is amazing. What is going on? You can turn the card your hand, and if you do, smash something. Oh! You thought! Wait, what? Why is it negated? What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Wait, why was it negated? I don't know. Why did he pass to to uh, Deku? To, bro, he's losing to Deku Talker pass. This is so sad. <laughs> It's a real glimpse of oh how ridiculous Yu-Gi-Oh can be. Even he doesn't know. Cards on my first turn. Let me show you what a typical turn one game of Hearthstone looks like. Arms dealer pass, huge. Curious, this is what Room Terra looks like. <laughs> now, if you're very curious to see how. All right, and for context, this is what a turn one of Yu-Gi-Oh looks like. <laughs> That's a Yu-Gi-Oh turn. True. How pro Yu-Gi-Oh is played. Master Duel has a very nice feature which allows you to spectate games. Let me show you what a pro level <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh game looks like. To someone who does not play Yu-Gi-Oh, Quantal? Quantal? Oh, not Quantal. Ridiculous things you've ever seen in a card game. Unfortunately, I have to speed up the footage because if I let it go, this player's turn took exactly three minutes and basically won the game from turn one. And three minute turn, by the way, what he doesn't realize is this is a replay. So this is all fast forwarded. <laughs> a three is it minute actually? turn one on fast forward is like mind breaking to a hearthstone player just saying and their opponent just had to sit and watch and that is the most yo that's not about bro he's acting like that's a good thing or something man what are you fucking talking to what holy shit yo you you that going first Listen up. basically wins you the game holy crap did he do this through three hand traps what is this Adam Emancipator deck, dude? List? He's being sarcastic and true, whatever, it's fine. And on top of that, this is the world championship for Yu-Gi-Oh. How insane is it that you work so hard to get to this point just to lose the game without actually playing the game? Man, hey, that's not true. He stuff. used two hand traps. He used two hand traps. He can't be serious. He can't, he literally, he, did he actually just say that out loud? He used two hand traps? Did he actually just say that out? Dude, you can't be serious. You can't be serious. It's like saying, Oh my god, I'm playing against the hockey. I, I, we're playing hockey or some fucking sport. Whatever, we'll play soccer, right? We're playing football. And, oh, my opponent doesn't get to play the game. That's not true. He had a goalie in the net. He just didn't have any other players. 
friend just looking into this game like jesus christ like what i i, I can pause it but i don't think that's gonna help you use a pattern game you learn the combo pattern you understand the deck it's just how the game is let me pause this shit. let me get paid there okay and i know some of you are gonna be like i'm coping but here's the thing the learning curve in hearthstone is like something like that Yu Gi Oh. it's like so wait why does it go down <laughs> what do you mean if you play Yu Gi Oh for longer you lose knowledge that explains a lot to be fair i feel like i've gotten worse over the years admittedly he's not True. wrong he's not wrong i've also got worse people get past this line no offense but Aegis is a joke compared to Yu Gi Oh. i don't care if you're the biggest Yu Gi Oh fan on the planet i'm not saying Yu Gi Oh is a worse game than hearthstone but purely as trying to get into the game and this is coming from someone who's played multiple card games this game's fucking hard dude at least you can get blue eyes white dragon on the side of your board which is really cool and with the help of my new dragon i basically spent the majority of the second hour still learning the exact same deck until i felt <laughs> confident enough to pick a brand new holy shit progress look at this he's summoned you the one right the one wait how far into okay so it took him how long one hour and 30 minutes to summon Shu. <laughs> Not oh bad. bless him dude bless him it must be bad dude the exact same deck take a <laughs> breath basically think that whatever farfa says means he's probably agree with you chris buddy how do i know that i'm not saying he's not memeing or he's not being sarcastic i personally don't know farfa enough to really judge his character just from watching this video right i've never actually like had a conversation with the guy so i'm taking this literally at face value right just for the record now i assume he is partially memeing because that's part of his like stream and his character but like you have to admit for a second here, there has to be some kind of truth behind this, right? Has to be some kind of truth behind this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Brand new one. Which one is the easiest one to understand the game? Okay. Which one should I buy? Burning Spirits. No, don't buy. Okay. Salad is. Honestly, learning the game with Dragon Maid is absolutely fine. The thing is, like, you're not going to be able to learn something like Salomon Great or basically most semi mid range to. to Midrange decks all the way up to combo. You're never going to be able to learn those decks without a guide. You, the, I refuse, like, as a new player, there is no world in you in where you can learn how to play a combo or even a midrange deck as a new player. Like, imagine you pick up Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time and someone just gives you circular and says, go, do it. Show me what you can end on. I honestly feel like if they were to isolate themselves in a bubble and not look at any guides or take any advice, that could probably take, like, a month of just, like, activating different card effects and even then most of them would probably be illegal plays because they keep missing all of the random conditions and stuff like that you know what i mean all right most of you are saying burning spirits oh my god this is easy if this link is summoned you can circle one card in your phone okay. <laughs> all right well, i'll talk to you guys now how do i use that deck with a new deck i felt very overwhelmed on how i even began to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh. my chat was recommending that i get a coach but i wasn't a huge fan of that because i was trying to do this as someone who is brand new to the game trying to like this is this is a good point as well like yes as a streamer you can just have like a coach of like some random pro that's just randomly watching your game join your twitch stream and just teach you like right now i have what two thousand viewers <laughs> two thousand people hold on i gotta saw this with arguably one of the funniest comments i've ever read <laughs> is aggro and you give they just stab you in the parking lot <laughs> holy shit <laughs> of potential <laughs> audience members i could probably name any deck in Yu-Gi-Oh right now and there will randomly be a person right now right here who could probably give me a full linear combo and deck building and coaching combo guide advice from beginning to end of some ra I, i'm just like nordic there's probably someone in this uh chat right now who just knows that deck inside out and can just teach me from nothing do you know what i mean um the average ego player does not have that resource. The yes. best that they can do is go on Google, pick a deck, type in X deck guide, and then go from there. And even then, anyone can post anything on the internet. You could literally go on Google, type in Nordic, uh, or in his case, Salomon Great Guide, and you will just get like, I don't know, Salomon Great Mirror Rule 34. I don't know where I was going with that. To learn you guys from the very first time. <laughs> this is a novel idea. Just find someone to teach you. Dude, that's, I'm doing this for a video, okay? So imagine I'm here like, hey, I, I'll listen. Now I got a teacher, so the, the whole video is gone. Basically, from what I'm understanding is in League of Legends, at least, if you want to learn the game as fast as possible, you pick one champion and you learn the game from that champion. In Yu-Gi-Oh, it is easier to play the game through one deck and then learn the game from that deck. When I came back the following... Yeah, that's probably true. At the very basic level, oh, you no. should probably just play one deck and stick to that deck and then... Once you learn mechanically how to play the game, you understand the phasing, 
a little bit of the damage step, the combo lines, you can branch out into another deck. Day, one of my viewers messaged me on Discord with a meta deck of the so, cards that I just bought. Also, I want to I want to add on top of some of the stuff uh, he was just saying here. Uh, so again, I want to make the case that for a coach, at least I know he didn't say like you should have got a coach to learn or whatever, but in every other card game I have played, I have never needed to get a coach, right? I don't need to go look online to figure out how to play the game because I want to play the game for myself, right? There are very few instances in a game, like in the past, like six years or so, where I will literally go and YouTube something, right? And if I go YouTube something, it is usually because I'm looking for something very specific, like where something is in the, in the game, right? Something like that. So if the... I'm going to call it the standard. I don't know if the idea is that you're basically forced to go look online to figure out how to play a deck on Yu-Gi-Oh. That's not great, right? Like, that's not great. There was a guy, but you don't have the attention span for it. You know what? I don't have the attention span to it is for stupid idiots. See a bitch. Because that's not the problem here. You fucking idiots. All right. Back to the video to hopefully let me play the game at a higher level and most importantly oh, oh two hours and 10 minutes in we're into building a real deck let me under okay so again by the way like he never would have been able to figure this out on your on his own right yes no one is it like if you buy a salma great structure deck from the play from the store you're never going to like understand how to build it or do anything with it or even what any of the combos are without like third party resource and i think that's the biggest issue with Yu-Gi-Oh because most video games you can probably do so much just by yourself. Yes. Like completely yes. solo, you can get so much help and advice and learning just by playing the game. Yes. Yu-Gi-Oh is a game where you can play it and over time you just there you make zero progress. Like yes. your uh your skill level in Yu-Gi-Oh can be like, you know, <laughs> he gets it. here as you're like, you know, like days or something. And if you play Yu-Gi-Oh completely by yourself, your skill level on day 1 is like zero. And then it's just like, like this. And you will just, and, and it, it just won't get better because of the way modern Yu-Gi-Oh works. It's too complicated to learn in isolation. You need an outside source and a third party resource to teach you the game. I've had so many people uh, message me, um, friends, for example, I used to play in a World of Warcraft guild. One of my uh, guild mates attempted to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and he played it completely by himself. He went through the tutorial, he went through the solo mode, played a little bit by himself and then from there it's like what deck do i build he bought a dragon mage structure deck and then the game told him to go to the cash store because you know you finish a solo mode and it says go to the cash store he goes and he buys like cards from like the element saber card pack and it's like what is he supposed to do with element sabers and dragon maids in the same deck like there's nothing teaches you this right except an outside source that's yes. the problem also I'm going to just add this to him because he might just continue. Let me show you what the progression system, at least for Hearthstone, was for me. I don't know about you guys. Again, Hearthstone is the game I played the most, so it's the easiest card game, right? So he did, what, days? Days and skill. Right? I think for a lot of players in Hearthstone, okay? Hearthstone usually goes like this, right? You start the game off, you immediately get a huge increase because you feel progression. And then Hearthstone kind of tapers off until you start realizing, like when do you need to trade when do you need to start actually what do you mulligan for right and as you slowly get better and better you keep going up but it's not as significant as an increase right but this is a big deal right here like this moment is ginormous right this is a ginormous moment in every single game and you may notice right now in mobile games especially people they do a really good job of sh giving you immediate progression right immediate progression because People want to feel satisfaction right away that they are learning and getting better at the game. That is a big deal of making people feel like they should keep on playing your game because it feels good to do well, right? It feels good to win. That's why people play card games. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, at least from my experience, it was more like this. Like, I, I couldn't even tell you if I'm going up or down. And because of that moment, right, people would be like, oh, you only played the game for five hours. You didn't get that good enough experience to really know, like, uh, like how it feels to play this amazing game that we love so much. But why would I continue playing if I don't get that progression right at the start? Right. Like I can't. And thankfully for me, I have like a background in mobile design. So I understand how important like psychologically, this is the most important moment in the video game.
right? It is the most important moment in a video game. And Yu-Gi-Oh, at least for Master Duel, I didn't get that at all, right? Marvel Snap is another really good example of this for people who have played it. Marvel Snap, obviously it's Ben Brode, who also designed Hearthstone, but it's the same concept, right? Marvel Snap was also just like this. And then eventually you get to the point where it's like, okay, I got to start learning a little bit more, et cetera, et cetera, right? That, in my opinion, as someone who's completely out of an outsider's perspective is the biggest problem with Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not like having a lot of words on your cards is necessarily going to be the downfall, but there has to be a greater sense of progression, right? It has to have a better, a, a way better sense of progression for a player to get hooked. What about Runeterra? I mean, Runeterra was also the same thing. Gwent, I don't really remember what Gwent was like, but Gwent was also easy to understand, I think, right? Most, again, if you go look at like 90% of the games, it's because you didn't actually complete the tutorial. Dude, you guys are fucking losers. I'm going to be honest. Dude, how many hours in a game do you have to play the tutorial for? Hearthstone, Runeterra, Magic Arena, I have played it for maybe believe, maybe an hour. An hour. An hour. And I understood the game ran right into fucking casual. The fact that you're saying you didn't finish the tutorial after like an hour and a half, and on top of that, I played Yu-Gi-Oh for three hours last year, and it didn't help me at all. Shut the fuck up. The solo mode is not a good way to engage players. Jesus Christ. Oh, you didn't play that. You don't have the attention span to play the fucking solo mode. I don't know about you, bro. I don't know about you guys, but I play a fucking PvP game to play against players. Fucking you, man. Yu-Gi-Oh players coping, honestly. But I don't think you can pick up like Hearthstone without looking at any decks and building a good deck. The, the thing is like Hearthstone gives you a, a good deck, by the way. Yes. Off of the bat, by the way, exclamation Hearthstone. I do have a sponsor code running. So if you guys want to download and try Hearthstone for free, yep. using my code. Use this, that, use this thing if you're not playing anyway, Hearthstone. Uh, hashtag add aside. Um, other games do give you almost semi-constructed full meta decks uh, out of the bat here. Even something like Yu-Gi-Oh, by the way. This is why I think structure decks should be like doubled in price and they just give you everything. Because right now, the way structure decks work in Yu-Gi-Oh is you get a structure deck, but it, it it's not enough by itself alone. I mean, it is kind of, but... It should probably be three copies of all of the necessary engine cards that you need. Yes, right? like, I yes. think, like, in my opinion... That's, that's actually another really good point that I didn't even consider. Hearthstone, at least of right now, back in the day, they didn't do this. But Hearthstone, if you are a brand new player or you're someone returning to the game, you get a full deck that is, I want to call it, like, a pretty meta deck. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be the most recent cards, but it's a pretty good starting point, right? It's really easy to learn the game if you don't already have to think about what deck should I play, right? That's a really big deal because it already skips probably like 50% of the biggest battle that card games have is just, here, here's a good good enough deck, learn the game from it, right? And if you're playing the game against brand new players because your MMR is going to be at zero, it's so much easier to learn the game if you already have a deck given to you, right? I think Room Terra did this. Magic Arena has been doing this. Magic Arena did a really good job. Magic Arena gives you like fucking like 20 and for all the different play styles possible, dude. Like it is, it's such a well done thing. In Yu-Gi-Oh, the fact they had to literally go chat, what deck should I buy is a pretty big deal. And they should up the prices of structures and just give you what is basically a the mtg arena decks are eh, dude it doesn't matter though like it doesn't matter it does not matter if you're going against new players it doesn't matter if your deck is the best deck on the planet all that matters is is that your deck is playable and it's easy to learn the game from like that's all that that's all that matters it doesn't have to be the best deck in the game you're not going against meta decks when you first start off playing a new game unless unless you get go against the person who just is fucking is smurfing right it doesn't matter. Like you just, you're there to get the deck to learn the fundamentals of the game. Constructed deck at a very base level. And that in itself would be enough as a stepping stone for new players. Yes. Understand how to play Yu-Gi-Oh a little <clears throat> bit more. If I'm going to be completely Thank honest, you. compared to a lot of other card games, I felt like I didn't even scratch the surface on Yu-Gi-Oh. There was so much to read, so many things to understand. And because the game just plays so much differently than every other card game, I- It would have been cool to add Whizbang to the core set. What do you guys think? That's how I managed to get my GF into a chess for a while. I, I'll tell you why they're not going to put Whizbang into the core set, even though I think they should. Mr. Krabs, what inspired you to make the second Krusty Krab? Money. 
I was feeling so overwhelmed. Also, I learned that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't really have a rotation. They just ban cards. So there's 20 plus years of cards available in this format. The record, by the way, it took us 40 minutes to craft the deck. I am now a master at this deck. For 40 minutes? Yeah, okay, so that's another thing, by the way, that I, I didn't see a single person comment on my stream about this. There is no, I don't know about, I don't know about Arena. I don't know about Magic Arena yet. In Runeterra, in Marvel Snap, and Hearthstone, the three arguably biggest games other than Magic, all have a way for you to copy a deck code. That is, and I'm telling you, as a new player, the most fundamental thing you could do for a player trying to get a brand new deck. Fundamentally. Do you know how miserable it was in Master Duel to make a deck for 40 minutes? Do you guys have any idea? Do you guys remember how awful it was? I have to keep pulling up the screen. And imagine, I have two monitors. Dude, if you have one monitor, I might as well just uninstall the game. I'm a, I, I wouldn't play the game past that point, right? Like, I would literally be like, are you out of your mind? In the year 2023, you think I'm going to spend 40 minutes to craft a deck? No. I think you can in Master Duel. Am I wrong? Well, apparently, we didn't use it. It took me 40 minutes. You have to make a fucking account or some shit. I don't know. These kids. I don't know. That timer says two hour 40. All right. So he finally has what is basically a Solomon Gray constructed deck. You can, but it's complicated. Okay. But hold on. A shame the game I love so much is this <laughs> inaccessible. <laughs> Listen, dude, I'm so sorry. But again, I'm going to pull a paint real fast, chat. I'm going to pull a paint. And then again, this is just good game design. This is what the most important thing that Hearthstone does above most of the other games. Well, not most of the games. This is what the best card games in the world do, right? If I want to craft a deck code and bring it into my game and I want to make sure I can play it and not think about crafting my own deck, making a card game, dude, in terms of, let me just put like, uh, I'm just going to put diff for difficulty here, just in case someone's curious. It should be right here. It should be literally as simple as me getting the deck code and me putting it in the screen, right? Yu-Gi-Oh, as far as I can tell, and again, this is coming from someone who has played card games. I play card games for a living, dude. This should be like second, it should be on my, it should be my sixth finger at this point, bro, right? I'm telling you, I couldn't figure it out. It's like up here. So even if they have it, I didn't use it and it made me craft a deck for literally 40 minutes. I want to say watch me roll these Mad. the record by the way it took us 40 minutes to craft that is literally just a full power like constructed Salomon great deck and you know what the funny thing is this is giving an assault rifle to like a seven-year-old yes! like, because if you don't know the combos and no one teaches you what this deck actually does like you were just giving like a, a nuclear bomb to like a kid you know what i mean like, yes! like what are you supposed to do like what is he supposed to do with this deck you know what i mean i can promise you you would just click yes on every single ability and then just make like a bunch of random links and and, and that's it. That's that that's the deck, you know what I mean? Craft the deck. I am now a master at this deck. Watch me roll these kids. I know how to play this game now. I studied a lot. Let me go first. Let me show you the power. There's like no mulligan phase in this game, right? Like Like this is Okay, he needs to hit something good off of Foxy. Magic has a mulligan phase, Runeterra has a mulligan phase. So does Hearthstone. There's if Yu-Gi-Oh had a mulligan phase, it would be the worst game ever. There's no, there's it no already is, buddy. You just, you just get your I don't own know what to tell you. I talked about it yesterday, or like the, the first stream of this game, is that the learning curve of this game is ridiculous. Like, it's, it actually, it blows my mind that people, like, say to themselves in the year 2023, I'm going to try out Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> like, this game is so wild. Like, I, like, what the fuck is happening? Even though I was still very confused. They're 100% should just be, like, beginner format in Yu-Gi-Oh and, like, modern format. Like, modern format format is just so hard to jump into i don't know how people do it like the only people who can actually physically jump in and play modern Yu-Gi-Oh from scratch is people who have a friend circle who already play the game i ref i i completely refuse to believe that anyone can jump into Yu-Gi-Oh fresh by themselves without any external help i just i genuinely don't Dude, think it's it's possible the fact that one of your biggest creators the, the one of the, i don't know who the biggest magic creator is or magic i don't know who the biggest Yu -Gi -Oh creator is but one of your biggest literally said that verbatim is very bad all right is that's horrible i am about to show you the greatest play i made so far shit hold on my extra deck is 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 uh, alive it's time <laughs> it's Rain! alive here we go finally i play the game i'm not really sure what time matters oh yeah we're did he in. just hit nothing off boxing to play 30. Hold on. I wish there was why is there two cards in his hand what happened
as a feature that you just stream. drop hand traps and nothing happens? I mean, how much time they have played? Bruh. My god, what is this opponent remember. doing? And how much time I Bro, this is like coughing baby versus coughing baby, and they're both carrying hydrogen bombs. Like, full power Salamon Great versus full power Labyrinth, and it's just piloted by, like, children. I think I maybe played this game maybe 20 seconds. This guy's been playing the game for about eight minutes, I think. And there's no way that, like, as a newer player, I understand what's happening. Like, there's no way. Like, I'm getting... Uh, this guy's playing every Yu-Gi-Oh card in existence. Oh, my God, I can do something. If you control the Salamon Great other than... Especially <laughs> someone that's trying to banish you when it leaves the field. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Okay. Right, and then and then trigger one cyber monster in your graveyard. Special summon. I mean, what else is he gonna call, right? Like, this is Salvin Great. Except cyber monsters, you can only use this once per turn. I guess I can special summon another monster from my graveyard. So that makes sense. Sure. So like these guys, sure. Yeah. So you're gone. You're gone. And then we summon another monster unless he gets to play the game. And he's doing know. it. Oh, I should have put it there. I think I don't really know what the arrows mean. If I'm gonna be honest, I can fact. Okay, sure. Get in there, champ. Yeah. Gain 500 life points. Banish this card. From he's the doing it. Do special summon one link three monster lower. Well, he's doing it. Co-linked. <laughs> Wait, he's missing a body for uh update. Remember, by the way, remember all those fucking YouTube comments on this video that literally said to me, Rare, you should read your cards. What the fuck am I doing? Access, right? Target one link three monster. Just, Just remember that. Zone. This card, you cannot special summon monsters this turn. Unless it, does this count for two? Oh, he dies. I still don't understand what the fuck's happening. We're not gonna do this. Like, like genuinely, I can't get over the card text, right? Like. If you're sitting in this situation and playing, like, it's really boring to just sit there and, like, spend, like, 90% of your gameplay reading. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, it's not really fun. It's Obviously, not. don't know if there's a way to fix that, or maybe if that's even a problem. But for me personally, just sitting there constantly reading your cards, making sure that you actually fully understand it. That's... I'm gonna be, it's just like, it, I generally think it's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just sit there and, like, spend, Go like, 90% of your gameplay reading. Go to YouTube comment coming up, or Twitch, Twitch chat you know what I mean? like, coming that's just, up, hold on. It's not really fun. Obviously, don't know if there's a way to fix that, or maybe if that's even a problem. But for me personally, it's a just problem. sitting there constantly reading your cards, making that's why I don't read it, Giga Chad. Making sure that you actually fully understand it. I'm gonna be it's just like it, I generally think it's like kind of boring. I I don't know. Maybe other people enjoy that and enjoy like the complexity of just like you know 90% of a duel being reading, but it can be simplified so much with like a better like structure of the card text. Uh, I want. Also, just for the record. In Hearthstone, I am currently at the point where once I played the card once, I no longer read the text of the card unless it's very complicated, right? Hearthstone does a very good job of, oh, like you see the card art and you're like, oh, I know what this card does. It's super easy to understand the first time I played it, so it should do the exact same thing the following time, right? It is so helpful as a, as a Hearthstone creator and just as a Hearthstone player in general to just see the art and go like, that's what that card does. I don't know if at some point during your Yu-Gi-Oh lifespan, you get to the point where it's like, oh, this is super easy to get into, right? Or you, you could start doing that, right? Where you just like, you see the card out, you're like, yep, that's what it does. But in Hearthstone chat, it took me one time to play the card to understand what it did. And then I never read the card ever again, right? How many hours does it take for you and Yu-Gi-Oh to get there? How many hours? How many hours? How many days does it take for you to get there? Right. And that's a big deal because once you once you play a card, it should no you should no longer have to think about it. Right. You should no longer have to think about it because it, it, it frees your mind up to learn something new or understand a concept or whatever. Right. Six months. You and you're in because I never feel like I'm sitting there just caught like I, I played Hearthstone yesterday. Right. For example. And I never really sat there just spending most of my time reading. You know what I mean? And I was, like, winning games. I actually did not drop a single game in Hearthstone yesterday. In bronze, obviously, you know, so it's whatever. But, like, the fact is, is, like... No, 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 no. See, see, see. He said it's bronze, but whatever. But, like, it should be like that, right? If you understand card games, they should translate, right? And you should understand the fundamentals easier, which he clearly did if he didn't lose a game in bronze. From a basic understanding, like, you understand the overall concept of the game, which is, like, curve your mana, trade well with stats... Um, try and establish a field better than theirs, control the board. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! has nothing like that. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! has combo lines and spreadsheets. Like, that <laughs> doesn't exist in other games, right? And then we get to do that again. You're playing against Coughing Baby. But I'm a Coughing Baby as well, right? Because I, 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 I don't play that game. Do you know what I mean? Dude, he is literally preaching what I've been saying. He's preaching it. He's literally preaching it. It's exactly my point right there. Like, you could sum up my whole Yu-Gi-Oh! experience would be the opposite of what he just said. And that is Yu-Gi-Oh's biggest problem. I mean, you can banish one like monster from your field and destroy one card your opponent also controls. Also, the rest of the turn, you can't banish monsters. Bro, what's bronze? He's in bronze as well. What do you mean?
I don't have a rank! And he's <laughs> not going to be able to understand Yu-Gi-Oh deck in the same way that I can understand a Hearthstone deck. Yes. You know what I mean? Give me another one of these bitches. No, this card. Um, oh, he understood to target this one. I mean, my guy has so much attack. I don't oh, think no, oh, no, like, oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't these? target the Labyrinth. Let's do that one. Nice. Do it again. Bye, idiot. Okay, he's it's learning access code. I wanted to play. Okay, don't country. click it again. Don't click it again. <laughs> don't click. Okay. For the record, for the record, for the record, listen, I I know I I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna close my eyes and just let it happen. But I'm sorry for anyone who hasn't seen this before. And you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Listen, I was learning. I was in the moment. I felt it. Okay. Click it again. That's it. Out of here. Is don't he do it. Don't. <laughs> I think everyone does the access banish itself misplay. Every, I'm sure that that is just a standard, you know, christening of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like you have, if you're a new player, you have to fuck that up eventually. It's, and you it's learn a the canon hard event, way. all right? It's a canon event. No! <laughs> I too hard. Okay, we learned a lot. We learned a lot. You know what? It was a loss in the record. <laughs> Have you tried the story modes they teach you decks? Oh, Very God. Different. Oh, he's doing plays. Hey, I, oh, my God. What? What the? I still don't. Like, I. Dude, I am playing cards and I don't know. <laughs> this is so. Like, I, I just don't get hey, what I learned from these games, man. Like, hey, I Danny. Guess what I'm understanding is that, like, you could special summon all of your board in one turn and that's basically it. I'm going to go first. Yep. I don't want my opponent there to There it is. Yep. All right, we're going first. So that means I get to play the game, right? All right, this is good. This is good. Summon. Yeah. All right, debug. That's why full combo, right? Let's see if he like knows what to do here. Yeah. I want the gazelle. <gasps> Pog. No. Pog. By the way, the only reason I knew how to get the gazelle is because we watched the guide from Snowy. Shout out to you if you remember that in the stream. We watched that like five times to make sure I understood what the actual correct line was. If it wasn't for that guide, which is third party outside the game, I would have no idea to go for the gazelle. All right. Well, that's not learning anything. Like, what? <laughs> You're telling me people can see the game just literally based on the first two cards I play? Dude, you guys need help if you play this game. Holy <laughs> shit. Got ranked. I'm a little scared for rank. Rank is fine until silver. What happens after silver? Is the game just over? Before we get <laughs> Is the rank. game over in silver? <laughs> is the game just over? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to just discuss how I feel about the game so far being about three and a half hours in. In my opinion, the tutorial... Honestly, for only three and a half hours of gameplay, he's made a lot of progress. But that's Thank the you. issue, if you really think about it, is like he never would have been able to do this uh, as, as progress without having like an entire hand-holding like you know chatting community just like spamming him, telling him what to do, right? Exactly. Like, average people, normal people don't do that or have that resource. Normal people only have like Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? It just isn't very great. In the other card games I have played, the tutorial does a really good job of laying the foundation of how a game is actually played out without overwhelming the player right from the beginning. This allows the player to enjoy the game on top of learning new decks, play styles, and just brand new cards that they haven't seen before without feeling lost and not really knowing what to do. But the tutorial in Yu-Gi-Oh! showed me the foundations of a game that was probably played 15 years ago. This does not have- The tutorials in Yu-Gi-Oh! teach you like the mechanics because there's just so many, right? Because the thing is, like, if in oh, Hearthstone, finished. there is literally, like, three main mechanics. Playing a card, which is literally just drag and drop. Damage. And, like, that's basically it. Uh, like, okay. and, and card text. And card text is, like, four words. In Yu-Gi-Oh, there's, like, multiple phases... Uh, multiple different types of card effects. I, uh, I disagree. I, I disagree. That's hard. Definitely more complex. Hearthstone is, like, battle cry... Complex does not mean better game. Like, like, there's no way. Also, Hearthstone is very much more nuanced than what he said there is. There's not phases, but Hearthstone allows you to go, all right, I'm going to play my spell, then attack, and then play another spell, and then use this attack, right? There's a lot more to the game. Like, there's a 100% a lot more to the game. The thing about Hearthstone that people fixate on so much is the game is simple to understand. It does not mean. He does not mean that the game is bad he's literally not chat you got guys you fucking farfa fanboys get the fuck out of here i'm reacting to what he is saying he's not he's not saying that i've i've watched farfa for fucking five years he's not saying that shut the fuck up oh my god jesus christ I do. he literally just said that 
He, what did he Playing just say? Let's, look, let's, let's go again, you fucking Farfo fanboys. Let's watch this. And the this is nothing against him. And like, that's because there's just so many, right? Because the thing is like, if in Hearthstone, there is literally like- In Hearthstone, there's- mechanics. Hold on, let's do this word for word here, boys. Pay attention, Farfa boys, pay attention. Mechanics. Playing a card. Playing a card. Which is literally just drag and drop. Drag and drop. Damage. Damage. And like, that's basically it. Like, what the fuck was I saying? I was reacting to that. And card text. And card Fucking text is like Fucking losers, man, in honestly. There's like multiple phases. Uh, multiple different types of card effects. Uh, compared to Hearthstone, they are infinitely more complex. Hearthstone is like Battle Cry, do dude. I didn't fucking say Hearthstone is a better game at all. I literally just said he's not. Hearthstone's way more nuanced. You guys are fucking losers. Like losers. The Yu-Gi-Oh community is so up in their own ass that if you say anything negative towards the game, they're like, "What? Did you just say that?" No fucking way, he just, shut the fuck up. Do something. Oh my God, chill, like Raren. Oh my God, chill. Dude, this is my stream. If you don't want to fucking be here, get the fuck out of here. It's as simple as that. Level, you know what I mean? Holy like a very shit. simple like card does that. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, a simple card is like special summon. Um, or grab or search for like one of Bunch seven of losers, possible options. Bunch of losers, man, honestly. You know what I mean? Help a new player learn Yu-Gi-Oh that well because when you go into play but casual when mode, when you go into the solo lost, mode is where it teaches you like decks. But here's another thing about the- I, I'm not even paying attention, hold on. Uh, multiple different types of card effects. Uh, compared to Hearthstone, they are infinitely more complex. Hearthstone is like battle cry do something. At like the basic level. You know what I mean? Like a very simple like card does that. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, a simple card is like special summon. Um, or grab or search for see that's not even that's not even true though Like a simple card is what they showed you in the tutorial, but you don't use those cards So the cards that you see in the actual real game are like the simple cards that a new player to Yu-Gi-Oh wouldn't understand for like one of seven possible options, you know what I mean? Help a new player learn Yu-Gi-Oh that well because when you go into play but casual when mode, you go you into the solo lost. mode is where it teaches you like decks. But here's another thing about the problem with solo mode in Mastodo. Solo mode is not a representation of the game. Like you are going into solo mode, you're not really playing like fully fleshed out decks. Like some of those like World Chalice, uh, Orcus decks, and so, like they're just like mishmashes of like nothing. You know, they'll give you like. World Chalice Charmer. It's like, that is not a representation of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know what I mean? Seem like there's a lot more back and forth. And they have gotten better recently, I will admit. Game compared to what it actually is, which is usually the game is over. Fenrir! By turn one. Which uh, leads me sorry, to my very first ranked game. What is this? This is when the ranked game starts, and this is when the ranked game ends. Ask yourself, how much time do you think... Wait, how much was that? It's ranked game. What is this? This is when the... 15 minute ranked game? Is that a lot? Well, it depends what happened. Rank game starts, and this is when the rank game ends. Ask yourself, how much time do you think I'm actually playing the game? Your attention span You're just biased 15 minutes, because okay. Other card okay. games are more yeah. intuitive. Admit it, you anti-Yu-Gi-Oh fascist card game player. Was that, was that a genuine donation? Was that real? Did I think about that in my head? Was that on his stream? Where was that? Was that mine? Did someone write that? Your jet- Oh, it was a meme. It was a meme. It was a meme. I disagree, dude. Your attention span might not be the best fit for Yu-Gi-Oh. Hey, listen, as someone with uh, undiagnosed HD, ADHD, I can tell you that uh, maybe that is not my best fit for uh, for card games either. That's probably why I suck. But, you know, the game doesn't really lend itself to help you uh, with that style of, uh, of game, right? Because, like, there's just so much winning around for your opponent to, like, play the game. His games are fucking over on turn one. Oh my god! <laughs> plants! <laughs> oh, he got plants! Except plant monsters. Jesus, his first game was Rika? That's that's just not fair. Dude, you're supposed to be playing Structured X in Rookie. What is this? This guy's smurfing. Hey, whoever you are. Um, Asian words. Uh, I'm, I'm calling you out. Okay, I'm calling you out. You are smurfing. No one cues into like rookie without knowing uh, with, with plants. Okay, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna go get a drink while this guy's doing his turn. I'll come back and see what I missed. Give me, give me a sec, chat. He's still going. Cactus bouncer. Cactus bouncer. Oh, he is so unaware. What are hand? How many known hand traps are? You guys care if I just like, go to the washroom or something while this is happening? Like, this is probably a good time, right? I got some time, right? How much time do you think I got for this turn, chat? A couple minutes. You still doing shit? All right, perfect. <laughs> yeah, you got time. Dude, this is funny. He didn't even do any Sunvine plays. Oh, are we done? <laughs> All 
right. Okay, well, that's a misplay. Oh, wait, hold on. It's our turn. I forgot. Listen. <laughs> it's a misplay because I didn't understand what the fuck's going on. Just for the record. When a card is activated, you can detach one material at the same time, negate the activation. Oh, the no. <laughs> well, this is the problem. You're reading the card after you've uh, gone to the bathroom and, uh, and went, to the, went to get a drink. Um... And then you've activated a card and made a play, but you haven't read what your opponent has done, right? Like, admittedly, there is a degree of responsibility here, you know? I 100% agree with you, but I don't think it's actually reasonable to expect the average person to come back. Look what my opponent did. It's like, it's like watching 30 minutes into a movie and then someone asks you, can you summarize what happened? Like, yeah, if I was paying attention for 30 minutes while I'm playing a game, Maybe I would have been able to, but I even think as someone who is brand new to the game, I wouldn't have understood it at all. Even if Your I try to read it. Far more intuitive for new players. Dude, I, I'm not, for the record, I just want to make this very clear. I'm probably never playing Yu-Gi-Oh ever again. Um, just want to make that very clear. Dual links is far more intuitive for new players. Lake monster. Wait, hold on. I don't really. Do I have a way to negate this? Activate. Thank you, though, for the the two bucks, so, bro. Let me get something straight. Because this guy went first, he was basically. I'm gazelle. Basically able to set up his board to counter what I was doing, and I just had to idly sit by while he did that. Dude, who plays this game? <laughs> you want to race for a meter spread, but then your opponent says, "Yeah, but I get to start 50 meters ahead." All right, I, think <laughs> I should have done that. You just described the coin flip. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a race, but I'm starting 15 meters ahead. <laughs> like, can I even do anything? I guess not, right? I just end my turn? I guess I can do this and see what I draw. You messed up. I think I'm gonna play last turn to begin with. Like, I'm probably gonna play better. Wouldn't it be good to learn to play Dude, every time some of you, one of you recommends me, hey, Raren, maybe you should play with another YouTuber. That would help you. You hear how delusional that sounds? Hey, dude, in order for you to play this game, you need to get a coach. <laughs> That's true. I mean... Like, that is not wrong, right? Like, the fact that you need to, like, get a coach to understand Yu-Gi-Oh! is, like, just kind of a fundamental flaw, you know? That's with every card game, so you have to catch up where everyone's at. I, dude, you are coping out of your mind if you think this, the learning curve in this game, is not insane compared to other card games. Checkpoint. <laughs> like, curiosity, how long did it take you to feel comfortable with Runeterra? Probably, like, in two games. Because Runeterra, thankfully, is super easy to get into because the cards don't fucking read like this. This <laughs> one card is like three rune terror cards. <laughs> and this, card with this card and this card and this card and this card. Magic for me was easier to understand because at least there's the basis of the mana system and that you can understand why uh, how other cards work because there's not an ancient amount of cards being played in one turn. Like not having a resource system in this game is the weirdest conundrum for like any player who hasn't played it because every other game, every other card game has a mana system or some kind of resource system. Hey Raren, how was your how was your gameplay of Yu-Gi-Oh today? Oh, I don't know. I watched my opponent play for 10 minutes and I was sitting there waiting. <laughs> I mean, what do you say to that, right? Like, you can't say just don't anything. fucking play it then. Well, I mean, yes, that's the conclusion he came to. I don't know, like, why you're saying just, just don't fucking play that. Well, yeah, he's not going to play, and that's it. He's like, he's done this as an experiment. And he's quitting, right? And there you go. That's a potential person in the community. That's a potential player. That's a potential, uh, you know, cu uh, customer for the business, right? The best way to get into Yu-Gi-Oh is probably speed duel. John, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm not playing this fucking game. I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm not. That was the worst impression so I very probably have ever had say, in like, a video game. Well, don't play. You know? Who cares? It's a niche game. I Like, that is a legitimate argument. I guess, like, Yu-Gi-Oh does not need to apply to everyone, I suppose. I wouldn't. But you have to admit that, like, you know, the game doesn't really do enough to... Give you that carrot on a stick kind of thing. Imagine you are someone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Imagine you're someone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh and someone says to you, it doesn't, I don't need this player to play my game because it's a niche game. So I'm going to comment else on that. I don't know how I'm going to play this for six more hours if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> This was 15 minutes and he activated two cards. That game went on for what, 13 minutes? I think I played the game for 20 seconds, maybe. <laughs> Somewhere around there. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I want to play this game for 10 hours. The reality of the situation is, is after playing a game for four hours and 10 minutes, I'm not really having any fun. Unless I'm missing something. I don't I, get I don't your point. If Yu-Gi-Oh is having a problem of getting new players into the game and someone in your community says, 
hey this is a niche game we don't need those new players does not not look like does that not sound like a huge issue with your game right does that not sound like a huge problem with your game if you the reason that new players aren't playing your game is because the game is niche do you know how many very specific games are out there and they still get new players like I, I played a good I apparently you guys gave me a deck that was probably good. I tried the tutorial, I tried casual mode, I tried ranked. It's just it's th this game is not for me. I am missing something that has made is gonna make the game more approachable. Big people pulling you in 70 70 different directions. No, dude, see the thing is is like it's not because chat's telling me that I'm doing something wrong or whatever. I just think the game is too fucking hard to just wrap my head around and actually enjoy the game. I play Hearthstone because I think it's the most fun card game, right? I don't think Hearthstone's the, the best card game in the world, but I personally enjoy it the most, right? When I played Hearthstone 10 years ago, when I played the game for 20 minutes, I was like, I'm gonna like this game quite a bit. Yu-Gi-Oh! does not give me the same vibe. I played the game for four hours and 15 minutes at this point. And I'm, again, like I said, I played it previously last year. I gave it a try. I just don't have that sense of enjoyment, right? There's too much going on. It's not fun to play. It's gonna take me another six years to figure out what every deck does. Also, this is like the main issue, right? Cause like fundamentally like Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of fun at the top level but you need a lot of coaching you need a lot of help to be able to understand it and even then if you don't like the style of modern Yu -Gi -Oh, there the game doesn't offer you an alternative way to play right and i think that's maybe like one of the major issues because there are so many different styles of Yu -Gi -Oh that you can play you could opt out of playing like top tier meta decks that take like 20 minutes you can play like the absolute doggy dog decks and it's like kind of fun right you can play like legacy formats and time wizard but there isn't really like a good way of that being promoted to players. And that's one of like the biggest flaws of Mastodo that I feel like was just completely ignored and not addressed on release. The fact that Mastodo came out on release and had the biggest burst of play, I think it was like number one on Steam for like a solid week, right? That is so much exposure to the world and it has like the fattest fall off in Yu-Gi-Oh. The fact that you queue into bronze in Mastodo on release and you play against Alpha Discard Zeta is the <laughs> biggest tragedy in the history of modern games. And I will stand by that. There is nothing more disastrous and more tragic in the launch of a game than the fact that Yu-Gi-Oh dropped with the best deck being Drytron. How is that reasonable? You know what? That, that is such a massive miss. I don't know what that is. Imagine that if that bad? the game dropped with maybe something like modern, but the priority system was bringing back new player, uh, older players, people who used to play the game, people who used to enjoy the anime, and your first like level of gameplay was like it's setting bad. up a, oh. a tomato or activating a Sakuretsu armor. You know what I mean? And like people joined Master Duel and they were getting VFD'd and heralded. The only I, it's reason just I such a tragedy. I and modern Yu-Gi-Oh is because I have been playing for decades, and that's a huge problem for a game that needs new blood. I I would one hundred percent agree with you. I think it was such a miss. Thank you for the donut. Apparently, going first is just fucking broken. If going first is so strong, that means half the game, half the time, you're not even playing the game. In Hearthstone, if I'm playing a game, even if my opponent has a slight advantage going first, at least I get to play the game. At least I get to do something that my deck does. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how. So this is the uh, massive illusion that is given to you by games like Hearthstone and Magic oh, no. the Gathering, right? What you illusion. could be an absolute dog, a complete <laughs> animal, and you will still be able to like feel as though you play the game. It'll definitely be like the illusion of choice, but as a world champion versus a noob in Magic and Hearthstone, you will get a couple of turns where you get to activate your cards and do stuff, right? And it's the illusion of <laughs> freedom to an extent meme, right? Because that game was decided before you sat down. However. What? Bro, what? In what reality would a complete new player go against a pro player? Like, what? The freedom of illusion isn't real if both players are playing at the same skill level, which is going to happen if someone's brand new to the game. But the fact that you actually get to activate and play your cards provides you an illusion of, like, gameplay. Because even your opponent could be the greatest master of that game in Hearthstone or Magic, and their best turn one is to play one singular card and pass to you. And there you Dude, go. You now like, get to do That's not what he... Chat, please tell me. What is he saying? Go for it. I can't wait to hear this. What illusion is he saying that he just said at, fa like, at face value, I'm taking what he said. What do you say, chat? Go ahead. I'm waiting. Get, type faster. I can't wait to read this. He's saying sometimes you lose the game before it even starts. Dude, that is every fucking game ever made. So if that is the commonality between every game, it doesn't matter. 
he's saying that you're probably going to lose that game, but you actually get to play cards in your game. Dude, oh my God. Yu Gi Oh! Dude, I can't handle Yu Gi Oh! players. Honestly, I can't handle you guys. You guys are so ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's saying that you get to have fun playing the before you get to have fun before you loot. I'm gonna move on. I don't. I'm, I don't know why I reach out. That uh, reality, because in Yu-Gi-Oh, everything, everything in a duel is funneled to turn one, and there is nothing you can do about that. Which is why legacy formats are so incredible, because there is very few auto wins on turn one in turns, but the Ugi -Oh community has a Bible verse ready. <laughs> legacy format. Yes, I understand before you start well actualing me, there are tons of legacy FTKs and gimmick decks like Magic Library. How come quick question for you guys? How come everything this man says, there apparently is five different takes of how you I can un how I'm supposed to understand what he says. Isn't it just a normal human thing to do to take what he said at face value like what are you guys talking about this man literally said in my chat based on what he just said hold on hold on hold on hold on um i gotta find it i i lost it there's too many fucking comments i think raren is too tilted you guys are fucking stupid right. i'm just gonna put it out there draw blah 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 that's not what i'm talking oh about the my general God. time wizard gameplay my prophet farfa said this but it actually means this raren you're not doing this it's like the best dude don't take everything as he said dude guys i don't think he's attacking me or hearthstone i just don't agree with what he said that's the whole point of a video like this is to react to what he is saying you guys are acting like this man is a prophet like he is saying stuff that is beyond my comprehension like i'm not understanding this you guys are literally out of your mind shut up deck will probably like set a raiko and pass and Yu Gi Oh modern does not give you any he says that a noob can beat a pro. Did you not listen to what he said? Did you not listen to what he said at all? Like, am I, do I not speak English? Do, do I not speak English at all? Like, am I okay? Like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, this is all a dream. Like, I, I don't know what you guys are saying today. Holy moly. What the fuck? Raren, you actually need to be a child in front of Farfa to correctly understand what he's saying, apparently. Anything close to that. How anybody plays this? If I need to get a fucking coach to understand Yu-Gi-Oh just to enjoy the game, not even to be good at it, I don't think this game's worth playing 10 hours for. So if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh and you like the game, awesome. I'm so happy. He for said you. a noob still has turn where you where he could do stuff against the pro. That is not what he said at all. That is how you understood it. He didn't say that verbatim. That's how you understood it. You keep on playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Honestly, the only part I really enjoyed was getting my blue eyes white dragon. That's exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna start banning everyone in chat. Just like, watch this. I'm wizard game. This game's worth playing ten hours for. So if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh, let's watch and this. You like the game? Awesome. I'm so happy. Actually, me, there are tons of. You could be an absolute dog. A I think it was such a miss. Apparently going first is just fucking broken. If going first is so strong, that means half the game, half the time you're not even playing the game. In Hearthstone, if I'm playing a game, even if my opponent has a slight advantage going first, at least I get to play the game. At least I get to do something that my deck does. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how. So this is the uh, massive illusion that is given to you by games like Hearthstone. And this is the massive illusion that is given to games like Hearthstone. And Magic the Gathering, right? And Magic the Gathering. You could be an absolute dog. You could be an absolute dog, a complete animal, and you a complete animal will still be able to like feel as though you play the game. It'll definitely and you can still feel like you played the game. Definitely be like the illusion of choice. It feels like the illusion of choice. But as a world Man, champion, bad news. You never stopped playing Ugi. Oh, this is you lost in the sauce still on turn one against that Rika deck. I don't know what the Rika deck is, man. But thank you for the five versus a noob. Versus a noob. Magic and Hearthstone, you will get a couple of turns where you get to activate your cards and do okay. stuff, right? So right there, all you said was, you could, if you're a complete noob, you could still have the illusion of that you're playing cards. And it's the illusion of <laughs> freedom to an extent meme, right? Because that game was decided before you sat down. That So he's basically saying, because 
if I'm a pro player going against the complete casual, or right, and my opponent gets to, dude, I'm not gonna reach out. I'm not gonna reach out. If he's saying, if I'm a, I'm a casual player and I'm going against the pro player, right, and even though I've already lost the game to begin with, because the skill level is so different, right, I, I it's gonna be over. I still get the illusion that I am playing the game, right? However. But the fact that you actually get to activate and play your cards provides you an illusion of, like, gameplay. This is where I said, if you guys remember, there is no way that's even the case because as a brand new player, right, there is no illusion of choice because you're playing against another casual player. And chat is acting like what I said was completely wrong. I don't understand on where you guys are saying I am wrong. Like, I, I I literally took that at face value and I've responded to what he said. He means it hypothetically. Dude, he didn't say hypothetically speaking. He just said the word. Because you fucking losers, even your honestly. opponent could be the greatest By master far, though, he's of that a prophet. game. He's oh my God, you didn't comprehend what he said. You should go to his church. And, pass to you. and there you go. You now get to do something. Yu-Gi-Oh does not offer you that uh, reality. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh, everything, everything in a duel is funneled to turn one. And there is nothing you can do about that. Which is why legacy formats are so incredible. Because there is very few auto wins on turn one in legacy format. Yes, I understand before you start well actualing me, there are tons of legacy FTKs and gimmick decks like Magic Library, Zodia Draw, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I'm talking about. For the general Time Wizard gameplay. I don't even like <laughs> cool dude play is like the best cool, deck will probably like like set that's a what we're talking about and pass and Yu-Gi-Oh modern does not give you anything close to that how anybody plays this if I need to get a fucking coach to understand Yu-Gi-Oh just to enjoy the game not even to be good at it I don't think this game's worth playing 10 hours for so if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh and you like the game awesome I'm so happy for you keep on playing Yu-Gi-Oh honestly the only part I really enjoyed was getting my blue eyes white dragon because <laughs> at least he looks cool <laughs> A lot to process and a lot to unpack there, but that is just a confirmation of the sad reality of the uh, unfriendliness that is modern Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yes, admittedly, he was being a little bit Pepega and a little bit silly by just not reading more of his cards. That is unfortunate, but at the same time, you have to understand that the approachability of Yu-Gi-Oh is night and day with something like Hearthstone or Magic or Runeterra. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, and unfortunately... They're just not on the same level as 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 games, right? In terms of its approach, they're not even on the same universe, my dude. Ability and its new player availableness, and Yu-Gi-Oh has the potential, has the potential to do that. And I think the key there, at least like the simplest fix, is in Time Wizard. And I really hope that that is something that is introduced into Master Duel because the easiest way to access Yu-Gi-Oh is digital. It does? No, it doesn't. Where yes. does where does Yu-Gi-Oh have that access? It does not have that access. You you same have magic. to like hunt around and search for resources in order to be taught these things. That's the thing. You can't just load up Master Duel as, a, as someone who's never played the game before, begin your new player experience, and then somehow spawn in your brain that, oh, there actually is alternate fun ways to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Right? That just doesn't exist. Anyway, this was an interesting video. Um, I think a lot of that was valid, but a lot of it was also like, please, bro, just read your fucking card. Like, what are you doing? Please just read your card. Please, I beg you, dude. Please read your card. Right? Because, <laughs> like, one of the main criticisms is, like, oh, I'm going to go in completely blind and isolate myself and not get any help, which I understand is a good way to play because it's a new player experience. But there are lots of games where it's not that unreasonable to go and Google something. If you play... Dude, it's not unreasonable, but that's not the problem, right? Like, the problem is, is that from the game that it's giving you, it's just not comprehensible at all from a new player's perspective, right? The, the expectation of a card game is not, hey... You should go Google so you understand the game. Like it, it, that shouldn't be your expectation at all. None. Like there shouldn't be ever when you buy a new game, if the game is designed correctly for you to be like, oh, you have to Google so you understand. Path of Exile or Diablo or World of Warcraft or even any like. None of those games he just said, you actually need to Google search unless you're, you're doing something very specific. I played World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft actually does a pretty great job for the first, like, hour, so you understand.
like semi complicated. I've never played PoE, so I can't speak on that. Player RPG game. Have you heard of Elden Ring? Bro, I played Elden Ring. I didn't Google search once. I played every Dark Souls game. I didn't Google search once. This is this would be unironically the first game in ten years I would have to Google search. Elden Ring, like it's not unreasonable to like Google a couple of things, right? I think that's completely fair. I think that's completely fair. But also on the take of Googling, right? You don't Google when you get into the game. You usually Google about three to four hours in five. No, not even three to four hours in. If the game is good, you don't really do it until you want to start learning, right? The introduction, your first gameplay session, the first five hours or so should just be fun. Like it should just be like, here's the game. This is how you play it. Make sure you try some stuff. And then eventually at some point you might go like, okay, I'm not doing really well at this game. I want to learn how to do better. That's how I play games, by the way. I don't know about you guys. Like I'm not... I don't play video games to min max, right? I don't play video games to min max. I play video games to have fun. Like I play video games to enjoy myself, right? I'm not gonna go min max Yu-Gi-Oh before you even have the chance to understand how the game is played. In the same way, if you were to like do that in Yu-Gi-Oh where you like Google maybe like a basic Solomon Great combo line or something like that, or good new player deck in Yu-Gi-Oh for Master Duel, I, you would probably- So this is actually something that I think that Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel could probably just implement in directly into their game and just say like, this is a good deck to start off, right? Like just, just put a little like, little thing that pops up and goes like, this deck is good for new players. Try this one first. Probably be exposed to a decent amount of information. There's so much resources out there. So I think the fact that like, I don't think it's super valid to go in completely. So that's your perspective as a cat, dude. Please tell me right now. Hold on, hold on. You, right here. You, this guy right here. Tell me you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, please. Just tell me you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player right now. Tell me you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player without telling me that you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player right here. Tell me you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player without telling me you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Holy. Completely blind. Bunch of dogs. Which I think is the main criticism that I have of this video is like he tried really hard to just play totally in isolation, which isn't really the modern way to play games in 2023, right? Like we are, as a generation, we have evolved. No, into, Sonus, it's not, it's, we it's don't, not, don't worry about it. A lot of games sometimes aren't even played for fun per se. A lot of games are played to min-max and optimize. I disagree. Like no one went and played like all of these new launches of games. People always, you know, why do you think like tier lists and stuff are so popular on YouTube of any game? Like tier list, best hero, tier. The subsection of people who watch YouTube videos is not nearly the full scope of people who play games. A lot of people don't go on YouTube, don't go on Reddit, don't go on Twitter to look up a game. Tier list, best decks, tier list, best champion, tier list. And I know this because I literally make YouTube videos, right? I literally make YouTube videos. And I'll, I'll tell you this right now. This is this is the Hearthstone this is the Hearthstone circle. This is the Hearthstone circle, right? This is HS. I would say maybe this is what the amount of people right now that currently look up content for the game. Right here. Um uh, best uh XYZ in any other game, right? Like because as a as a generation, we've just opted into going down that path. And there's a lot of resources that Yu-Gi-Oh offers you in that regard. Anyway, this has been my reaction. Anyways, I have no problem with Farfa's take. I think it's completely fine. I think he did it completely fine. Honestly, the worst part about Yu-Gi-Oh! has arguably been the community around it because you guys are a bunch of delusional assholes. Um, and on top of that, probably will never play Yu-Gi-Oh! ever again. I just want to make sure everyone is fully aware of it. Um, and good luck playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope you guys have fun with it, but please get out of my chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh my god.